our main event of the evening. Proudly brought to you by D&L Events in partnership with Wasserman Boxing. Tonight, from the Gold Coast Convention and Exhibition Centre, right here in the Gold Coast, Queensland, Australia. Palmer Bet proudly presenting to you the IBF Cruiserweight Championship of the World, Myris Bredis versus Jai Opataya. Live on main event, Foxtel and KO pay per view around Australia and around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's main event is proudly sponsored by Oxmar Properties, Queensland's best property developers. Visit them online, oxmarproperties.com.au. And Red Rooster. Download the Red Rooster app today. Ladies and gentlemen, this event is also brought to you in partnership with This Is Queensland. Proudly supported by Major Events Gold Coast and the Queensland Government via Tourism and Events Queensland. The main event tonight is sanctioned by the International Boxing Federation Supervisor Ringside, Mr. Ben Kilty, and the Australian National Boxing Federation Supervisor Ringside, Mr. John Holt. Judging tonight's main event, Mr. Stephen Weisfeld from the USA, Mr. John Vasili from the USA, and Mr. Katsuhike Nakamura from Japan. World Championship timekeeper ringside, Mr. Derek Millam, physician for this contest, Dr. Ben Mannion, and our referee in charge when the action gets underway is Mr. Chris Flores from the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody here inside the Gold Coast Convention and Exhibition Center, and those watching around Australia and around the world on main event, Foxtel and KO pay-per-view, the time is now world title time, Gold Coast, we are ready! 12 rounds of boxing for the IBF Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first tonight the man boxing out of the blue corner. This man wears the black and white trunks this evening. He weighed in 90 kilograms even or 198.42 pounds. He's trained by Mark Wilson and Mark Matthey. Tonight, he boxes out of the Bethania Boxing Gym and Wicked Bods Boxing Gym. Residing now in the Gold Coast, Queensland, Australia, with proud Samoan roots and heritage. Professional record, perfect. 21 fights, 21 wins, 17 big wins, coming by knockout. Presenting the world-ranked IBF Cruiserweight in the world, the challenger. Jai Opi Taya! And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing his opponent tonight, this man boxing out of the red corner. He wears the black and red trunks, tip the scales, 90.3 kilograms or 199.08 pounds. He's trained by Dimitri Chihole. He boxes out of the Chihole Boxing Gym. He hails tonight all the way from Riga in Latvia. Ar Latviu Sava Sirdi. Professional record reads 29 fights, 28 wins, one loss, 20 big wins by knockout. Presenting you Gold Coast, the former WBC Cruiserweight Champion of the World, Ring Magazine Champion of the World. He's a three-time Cruiserweight Champion of the World, and tonight he is the reigning and defending IBF Cruiserweight Champion of the World, presenting Myris Bradis. Boxers, centering, please, for your referee's instructions.
Okay, gentlemen, I gave you the instructions in the dressing room. I expect a clean fight. These trunks are a little high, so I'm gonna let you work right here and up. These trunks right here are right on the line, so I'm gonna let you work right here and up. Touch them up now, return to your corners. It is world title time on the Gold Coast. The veteran world champion and the undefeated Aussie, Bradis V. Opatia, starts now. The Australian challenging the best cruiserweight in the world for his title. Opatia in gold and black. Bradis, black and red. And it's the South Four. Opatia moving towards the Latvian champion at this early stage. Ben Damon in commentary alongside a former champion, Jeff Venick, on a major night in Australian boxing. Definitely so, Ben. I'm really excited. Both boys, very cautious start. Oh, left hand by Opatia. Really nice left drive to the body from Opatia. And again, a good shot. He doubled up. And he'll need to stay right on his plan. Because given a sniff, Bradis is ruthless. The first right hand thrown by Bradis misses the target. One loss against the heavyweight champion of the world, Ben. A majority decision, too. In a close fight, he is the real deal, is Bradis. And Jaya Pattaya picks him off with that left hand as Bradis gets the right hand away into the guard of Opatia. The Aussie working well in this opening round. Bradis moving forwards towards Opatai now, who's up on his toes, boxing nicely. Towards comes Bradis, throws his right hand, throws a hook as well, and they tangle. Showing strength there, Bradis. Strength and the first real intensity we've seen from the champ. Left hand is working well for Opatia. Reaching to the body with a right drive that he loves, Bradis. That is a strong punch. And he looks for it again. And now they come in tight. Big right hand misses from Bradis. He threw his overhand right, and Opatia gets through with the left hand. Over the top goes Bradis again and then works to the body in the clinch. You know, Ben, I always say styles make fight. And stylistically, I'm not sure if Bradis is for anybody like Joy Opatia. There is a cut over the right eye of Myris Bradis. There's a cut right over the right eye of Myris Bradis after round number one. They get straight to work on it. It's not in a great spot. We don't know how bad it is. But it's certainly going to be a factor. After a strong opening round from Jaya Pattaya, who got the left hand working well. Yeah, look, Ben, they both they both um, worked well, and they were both very, very cautious early. Uh, early, uh, Jai was landing with that beautiful uh, straight uh, left to the body. But um, Bradis uh, finished strong, and look, um, I'm not sure if it was a head clash or a punch that uh, caused a cut in that eye. Mark Wilson, calm in the corner of Opatia. And they return to center ring. Opatia looks for his uppercut. Good shot from Bradis. Backing up now is Bradis, then he comes back towards. He makes those movements so fast, but a nice left drive to the body it is from Opatia. 
There's the right hand from Bradis over the top, but body shots of beauty as well from Bradis. Big right hand digs in. Better Ooh. stuff from Bradis in this round. Left yeah. hand from Opatai. Bradis is holding his ground now. Hands up high. He's trying to counter punch at every opportunity. There he goes. Right One, hand two. over the top again from Bradis. Tries to counter Opatai, who looks to his left hand. That one into the guard, but it still drives him backwards. That one may have just drifted low, but he's allowed to go with it. The left hand to the body has been a good punch for Jaya Pattaya so far in this fight. Nice left hand again, Opatai. Bradis no, no, finds no, an uppercut no, on the no, inside no, and punches no, over no. the top as well. And he's allowed to work there by referee Chris Flores. Ooh, shots that just miss. Significant shots from both fighters. Left rip to the body from Bradis. And a left hand from Opatire. That's what Jai's got to do. He's got to keep busy. Keep him thinking, keep balking. He just got underneath that right hand, did Opatire, as Bradis stepped towards... Evasive is the champion. Oh, good shots. Up a tire, good combination, punching. Uppercut. Then his power shot over the top. Yeah, the power hook over the top there. Although it hit Bradis' glove, he felt it and he heard it. Driving to the body with that right hand is Bradis. And working hard on the inside he goes as well. Left hand's a beauty. Up a tire. Picking his target, and he nice. goes again as Bradis ducks in. Bradis charging forward, go, working on the inside, and Opatire will need to protect himself in there, but he's boxing nicely, the Australian world title challenger, Jai Opatire. I feel like it was a real good round for Jai Opatire. High quality stuff as we get into the Australian's corner. Highlights from the second round of action. How are you scoring these rounds, Jeff? Look, the first round was really close, and the second round, look, um, you know, I might be a little biased, but I thought Joy done a bit more work than him. So I've got jo maybe an even round, the first round, because there's not much in it, and uh, I think Joy's just won the second round. He boxed well. He threw that left hand beautifully, but Bradis is showing not only his class, but his strength. There's a good hook from Opatire. Yeah, beautiful counter hook. And he jabs perfectly as well. Good stuff from the challenger. Oh, there's a big shot from Bradis though. And he goes again. Right hand through the guard from Bradis. Left hand from Opatire. That's beautiful work by Joy on the way out there. Oh, nice body shot by Opatire. Bradis looked for his right hand and oh. Opatire comes forward with a beautiful left hand. Strong stuff from the world title challenger, Jaya Pattaya, who scored with a nice left hand and does go so down, again. Go, down. Work out of there, guys. Work stop. Step back. High Stop. quality stuff on the Gold Coast between the outstanding champion, Bradis, and the challenger, Opatire, who is showing he's right up to the fight. That's nice punching by Jai, good evasive skills. I'd like to see him put that left hook on the end, uh, the, the, the right hook on the end of that left hand. They come together there, heads yes. clash, but 
no continuation of that drama. The cut of Bradis hasn't been an issue, but it still may. Up the tie, the second guesses, nice. then he throws a beautiful right hand. Says, oh, Bradis with a big right hand of his own. That was that little right hook I told you, Ben. Beautiful shot up a tyre, fantastic shot as well from Bradis. And he jabs away as the champion. Oh, left hand from up a tyre. Perfect shot. No, 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 no. Relax, relax, okay. 40 seconds remaining in round three. The world title fight. It's all strong left hands from Jaya Pattaya. As they hang on in there and Bradis tries to exert his strength and the crowd unhappy as is Opatai with shots behind the head and referee Chris Flores just warns on the run. Right drive to the body from Bradis. Uppercut as well and a good shot from Bradis. Better moments from Bradis as Opatai ah. looks for a left yeah. hand. Yeah, I thought Jai was winning the round, but then uh, Bradis scored that four or five punches towards the end of the round. A really close round. A brilliant fight we're seeing. High intensity between these brilliant cruiserweights. Let's make some noise. Well, the stats speak to just how close this fight is. 33 scoring shots apiece between Bradis and Opatai through three rounds. Yes. Opatai has had success with that shot. The left hand straight into the orthodox fighter. Bradis comes forward. He's got the full kit of punches, the champion. Counter shot from Bradis just whizzed by. And jabbing to the body is Opatai. The right drive to the body is the punch that Bradis is looking for. Oh, oh nice left hand. Exquisite left hand from Opatai who goes one, two again. Another and he hooks counter hook. in counter. Good moments for Opatai who evades nicely as well. Here comes Bradis, Opatai comes back. He's reacting well to the rushes nice. from Bradis as he goes to the body. Brings his hands down as well. And jabbing is Bradis. Jabbing's Opatai and hooking. And there is a good shot from Bradis which is Followed up by a really nice shot that got the crowd going from Opatai. It's been a very good round for Opatai so far. The champion jabs. Opatai watchful. He goes backwards to evade as Bradis rushes towards. Nice. Doubling up that right hand is Jai Opatai. And hooking as well. Bradis jabs to the body. Opatai comes forward and snaps the head back. Powerful left hand from Opatai. Come on, let him go. With 40 Work seconds out. left in round four of the world title fight. This is a They're really good round for Opatai. A really big round for Joy. 
Nice. Sharp shots from both fighters. No, Raidus looks for him, but the right hand drifts over the top. Oh, there's that left hand again by Patea. Oh. Uppercuts a beauty. Hurt him. But hurt him. He's and hurt, hurt him. Ben. And chasing is Jaya Pattaya. Late in this round, Bradus holds on. The Big bell. round. Big round to Jaya Pattaya. He's got in the wrong corner. Bradus goes got to, to the, the wrong corner. corner. With blood from the nose. Massive moments for Jaya Pattaya on the Gold Coast. That's a huge round for him. The champion looks flustered as blood courses from his nose. He's more than flustered, Ben. He doesn't know where he is at the moment. And this is what oh. happens through a Giopa tie round. Good left hands. And then that, that shot. That was it. The uppercut that sailed through oh. and did damage. Busted the nose of the champion, Myris Bradus who didn't know where he was. And Opatia is up on his toes as the crowd senses something special. Damage to the face of Bradus. A cut over his right eye blood from the nose and swelling around his left. And Opatia looks to step it up. Yeah, he's just finding his distance now, Joy. He's going to start popping that left hand. There it is. I can see what's coming, the left hand. I want the hook to come behind it. Oh, Bratis. that uppercut again. Bradus comes with the right hand. But it's Opatia who looks most likely here. He's got Bradus on the on the retreat, Ben. A beautiful jab as well. And the blood pours out now. And suddenly, Myris Bradus knows that Jai Opatia is world class. Body shots and over the top from Opatia, who jabs as well. Strong stuff from the challenger. Jabbing is Bradus. And countering comes Opatai, who jabs perfectly Beautiful. and scores big. The crowd surging behind the Australian world title challenger as Bradus throws good shots. Counter right hands, just short from Bradus. One, two goes up a tire inside the final minute of this round. And there is damage everywhere on the champion, Myris Bradus. One, two goes up a tire again, the left hand scored. One, two oh, again. Big punches okay, there. Good go. stuff okay, from stop. Jaya Pattaya. No whose left hand is scoring regularly. Right hand no, Pattaya. Right hand no, Bradus. Let me tell you something. He's swallowing a lot of blood. His eyes aren't looking good. He's in a lot of trouble, is Bradus. And it's all because Opatia is boxing a clinic as we speak. This is beautiful stuff from the undefeated Australian who just takes a right hand. On the glove, it's all back. good, all good. On the glove. So far, Jai Opatia is producing the best performance of his career on the biggest night of it. But it's not over yet. Ah, it's a long way for it's over, Ben, but oh, he's doing the, uh, a great job at the moment.
Tourism and Events Queensland. This is our IBA Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Seconds out. Stay back. Back. Breaking him down and breaking him apart at the moment, but Bradus, he is world class and he is tough. There's a lot of him left. Up on his toes, off a tyre, boxing beautifully. Raiders with urgency. The blood oh, straight nice out again. Shot. The body shots a beautiful shot, and Raiders felt it. And Opatire is enjoying this world title fight. Into the guard goes that right hand from Bradis. And a good left hand again from Opatai. There's one thing I know about Joe Opatai, he's got a chin of granite. Body shot from Opatai again with his left hand, and Bradis chases him, but Opatai goes backwards and stays away. And now he comes to attack again as the right hand of Bradis whistles by. Nice. Solid jabbing from the challenger. And he comes back off the right hand of Bradis with a jab that scores straight on that bloody nose. And the discomfort of the Latvian star is clear. More damage for Bradis. A cut on the bridge of the nose to add to everything else as he drives with his right hand to the body. But he can't find Jai Opatire, who jabs. Right hand from Bradis is his shot. He's searching for them. There is a lot of blood coming from that nose. Underneath goes Bradis. Opatai tries to hook, but Bradis underneath that one. Then he comes with his left hands. Bradis misses with shots. And Opatai's three punch combo landed. Work out, guys, work. 20 work out. seconds left Stop. in another Stop. strong Jai Opatai round, the sixth of this Stop. fight. Nice jab. Ten seconds. One, two. Good right hand from Bradis. And a right hand to the chest of Opatire as well. He's trying to finish the round strongly. That's another round of Joe Opatire, let me tell you that. What a performance it is from the Australian so far. We're six up, says Mark Wilson. Get back, guys. Get back. Come on. Well, he's certainly up. Is Jaya Pattaya, the world title challenger, the 27-year-old against the 37-year-old champion, who comes out with a nice right hand and jabs well too, does Bradis. And there's urgency in his corner. They're willing him forward, the Latvian. They want activity. They want something big. They want to slow nice. Opatai down, but he's boxing very well. And he's comfortable in everything he's doing. It just looks great, Joy. He's not overdoing anything. He's just doing what he needs to do to win the fight. Nate, hey, on this stage, that's all you want to do. Count as well, too. There's Opatai straight through with his shots. Yeah, again, just landing the punches. He's not taking risks. It's beautiful. Oh, big right hand from Bradis. Big right hand from Bradis. Another one, and another one. Opatire, he felt those, and here comes Bradis as Opatire hangs on. Concerning times now for the Australian. He's taken big shots, and he gives some back, but he doesn't want to be in this sort of fight. No, no. 
Stop! Stop! Hey, step back! Don't hold. You're holding. Box. He's dragged into the brawl here with Bradis, who scored with big shots. I'm telling you, Jai will match him fire with fire. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about Bradis' power. Jai's going to send a chin to Glenn and he will work with him. Here we go. Watch and see. We will see. Here they go. Here we go. Look left at that. Hand. Yeah, left hand by Opataya. Beautiful left hand from Opataya. Raider saw his chance, but Opataya wore the shots well and came back with interest. Stop. Step back. A minute left in round seven. Again. Blood everywhere on the face of the world champion. Nice. Beautiful shot on the inside it was. From Jaya Pattaya. And there's concern on the face of Bradis, no doubt about that, as well as the blood. He sticks his tongue out, but he didn't expect this. Jai's growing in confidence. I can see it in his eyes. I can see it in his, in his movement. Stop! Stop! Right hand gets out from Bradis, but Opatai is underneath that one. And Bradis landed some good punch in this round. None of them affected Jai. Oh, nice counter left hand by Jai Pattaya. And they come together again, and they'll both try and work from here as they have all fight. Come on, stop at the bell. Box. Another round down in the world title fight, and what a fight it is on the Gold Coast. There's a lot of panic in that corner. A lot of panic, a lot of concern. This was not in the script. This was the moment that the chin of Opatire was tested and he stood up and he wore it well and he finished the round strongly. Exceptional power and brute strength from Bradis. But look how calm the challenger is. I can tell you something, Ben, there's a lot of panic in that, in that red corner. That guy's going crazy in that corner. Dimitri Shikolai is the trainer of Myris Bradis, and he pretty much walked out with him to center ring. There is a lot of concern about what is happening here. Stop, stop, relax, step back. With Opatire exceeding their expectations as a right hand from Bradis gets through. And a left hook. And again, and he chases this Bradis. The powerful no, 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 no. champion, Myris Bradis. No way, you can't give him a moment. Bradis will get a shock because every time he lands, there's, there's no effect on Joy. Joy's young, strong, he's a bull. Well, he's been tested. And he's passed it so far. And he's boxing beautifully. And this is the best start of the round for Bradis. Jabbing to the body. And punching with his right hand there as Bradis just threw a gap he saw. Nice. Right hand from Bradis yeah, as beautiful one. the crowd begins to chant for Jai up a tire. No, stop, stop, step back. Bradis oh. breathing deeply through his mouth. His nose busted now. Oh, just, just underneath that hand. shot. Up a tire saw his moment, but Bradis oh. just ducked under. One, two for Bradis. The champion breathing deeply as he takes a jab straight to the nose again. And he returns okay, fire stop, with a big man. right Step hand back. that Jai Pattaya wears well. Box. One, two, Bradis. Oh, no. 
and they tangle. And it's Upper Tyre that wants to continue here. He presses forward. Yeah, he's putting the pressure on him. Nice. That's the uppercut that did the damage earlier. There's Body a hook shots. There. Good shots there. Left hand from Jai Upper Tyre. Bradis comes forward with the right hands. Stop! No, hey. Oh, sorry, sorry. Come on. Listen, listen. Fuck. Ten seconds. Chasing is Myris Bradis again. The right hand whizzes by. Stop, stop, Body stop. shots right. from both fighters to end. Another tough round of this world title fight on the Gold Coast. Now that was a closer round. A better start to the round, no doubt, from Bradis. The urgency in his corner got him going, but he's breathing deeply. Strong words from Mark Wilson. Yeah, I'm not sure if we need a snap jab. He just needs to be able to be, to counter whatever Breedis does because uh, Breedis knows. He knows he's behind. His corner knows he's behind. The urgency, the desperation in that corner, you can see it. Left hand, Jaya Patai. He had so much success with that straight left hand early in the fight. He's brought it back here to start round nine and he jabs away as well. Body shot from Bradis is a good one. But Opatai just hangs on and walks him back. Looks for that right drive to the body, does Bradis. The uppercut's been a good punch for Opatai as well, and there's a oh. nice jab. That's it, Joy. Joy's got it there. Forget the jab. John's got to hurt him. John's going to get his... Re already got his respect, but he's just got to keep doing what he's doing. Stop! Step back. Step back. He's been winning rounds by, by out-punching him. He's just got to keep doing it. That's what he has to do. Left hands from Jaya Pattaya, the world title challenger. There we go, Jaya. Up we go. Raiders forced to come forward now. Nice left hand. Left hand's a good one. Another and one. so's that. Two good okay, shots stop, stop, from Opatire midway through round number nine. Bradis trying to close that gap. His right hand gets off, but he misses, and he goes again with the same. Working on the inside there is Bradis. Opatire over the top. Nice lift up a cup by your Pattaya. Right hand from Bradis as well. Okay, stop, stop. They hang on. A minute left in round nine. Bradis' face looks very desperate, Ben. Looks bloodied and beaten and desperate. Bradis, as he breathes deeply again through his mouth with his nose out of action. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Nope. Off a tire, straight towards him. Body shot from Bradis. The heads come together. Bradis tries to get an arm free with 30 seconds left in round number nine. Oh, big, big right hand, but he stands straight up to it. He goes straight through it. And to the body as well from Bradis. But off a tire is unaffected. And let's remember, it's only one punch. Joy scored many more in this round. Ten seconds. And he hooks again. Work out, work, work. They hang on here late in the rounds. Okay, stop. A stop. strong up tire round. Punctuated with a big shot near the end from the champion, Myris Bradis, who blows ample blood from the nose as this Australian crowd starts 
to sense that perhaps, just maybe, Opatia has this world title in his grasp. Oh, there's a big uh, right hand there by Bradis. Oh, there it is again. Huge shots from Bradis, but the chin of Opatia, well, if it needed testing, it's had that. It's been tested and it's passed with flying colours. Bradis walking out there like he's ready, but Joy's ready as well. Round number 10 of the world title fight on the Gold Coast. Bradis the champion, bloodied and desperate against Opatia, who's boxing better than we've ever seen. I honestly believe for Bradis to win this fight, he has to win the last three rounds and win them big. I think Joy's in front of this fight. So the body goes up a tire. Yeah. Oh, nice right hand by Bradis. Strong right hand it was from Bradis. Come on, listen, guys. But he needs more of those, the champion. There's a nice right hand again, which gets a smile. Yeah, that's it, Joy. Left hand from Jaya Pattaya, straight down the middle and onto that nose, which bleeds freely now. There we go. Body shot as well from Opatia as the crowd surges. Oh, oh big uppercut. shot. Major stop, shot stop, 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 stop. from Bradis and Opatia. He was rocked. Oh, here comes Morris Bradis, the champion. Behind in the fight and desperate, but he scored with big shots against Opatia, who has a long time left in this round. Big shot from Opatia. He throws a right hand. Opatia felt that. The power of Bradis on display. And now the Latvian three time world champion, the defending IBF cruiserweight champ, is on the chase. He's hurt Opatia who has to cover up and needs to hang on. Don't him. With a minute left in round number 10, the Latvian corner, they will their man on. That uppercut caused a problem. Come on, it's hurt Opatia and he's still not clear. He's trying to stay away. Oh, there's an uppercut by Opatia. He's ragged now, Opatia. He throws his own left hand. He throws a hook as well on the inside. Brave stuff from the Australian world title challenger, who's been hurt badly in this round, but is still on his feet. And still punching. Stop, stop, don't punch, don't punch. 20 seconds left in a dangerous round for Opatia. He's recovered. Stop, step back. He's good as gold again, don't worry about that. 10 seconds left in the round, round 10. Hey, uppercut. uppercut. Opatia with a beautiful right hand uppercut and he'll enjoy this minute between rounds because he had to weather an almighty storm. It was an uppercut. Don't worry. It was an absolute monster of a shot from Bradis. Oh, there it is. Right on the money. Oh. It was an uppercut from Jaya Pattaya that did the damage to the nose of Morris Bradis, and oh. that was the shot that rocked the challenger, who is now going to have to go to places he has never been. It is soul-searching time for the Australian Chai Opatia. He was hurt for the first time in this fight. Two rounds to go, six minutes. Bradis 
Three Three goes he's right hand. hand. One of his power shots, that overhand right. Opatai tries to get back to where he was, and the left hand will help. He gets it out there again. Uppercut is a good one from Bradis. Again, he picked off Opatai, who was coming in. But he's okay. Wild shots from both fighters. Who said Jai Apatea wasn't ready for this? He's ready. Left hand up a tire. There's a beautiful left hand from up a tire again. And an overhand right there. One, two goes Bradis. And working on the inside, up a tire is. The blood pours again for the damaged Bradis, who saw a glimmer of hope in round 10 and is trying to get back there. Left hand off a tire. Oh, nice right hook. Stop, stop, back. Found him on the way in too. Bradis was looking for that right hand to oh. the body. There's a right hand over the top from Bradis that snaps the head back. And a punch behind the head. Come on. Box. Referee. Chris Flores will have his work cut out for what remains of this fight. Dangerous stuff up a tire right in the firing line for that uppercut. Minutes to go in round 11. Come on, Jai. Up a tire digging deep and working hard. No, no, no. Raiders comes towards, but the referee pulls him apart. Ooh, right hand again from Bradis. Just There's so much on it. Yeah. Come on, guys. Quit holding. He Stop. is putting everything into these shots. Myrus Bradis. The big punching world champion who goes again. Stop. 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 20 seconds remaining in round 11. Stop. Uppercut. From Bradis again. Yeah, it landed again. He is scoring with big uppercuts. And Oppatai can't oh, afford many one. more as he takes a right hand. The bell sounds with 11 rounds down in an intense world title fight. What a fight we've seen so far. Truly world class with a bit of everything. I think he's Joy's hurt his jaw. His teeth look a bit crushed there. Damage to the upper tire jaw. Likely from those uppercuts. In round 11, and now we head into the final three minutes of this world title fight. Upper tire showing incredible bravery just to return for the final round of the fight with a damaged jaw against a big punching world champion, Bradis, who's been wounded who's certainly been behind and who's fighting back, showing his quality and his class stop, and his stop. toughness. This is an epic fight. Oppataya cannot take those uppercuts. And he heads down to the canvas. That's all good, it's wasting time. Take your time, John. And the more seconds that tick as the swelling continues around that jaw of Oppatire, the better for him. Blood now coursing from his mouth. Breda saw that, and he knows what he needs to do. And he comes forward, but Oppatire digs deep. He is being tested in every way he possibly can be. A badly injured jaw. 
and the uppercut gets in, but Opatai gets through it. Yeah, he's leaving nothing, nothing in the bank, Joy. Everything's out there. We are now halfway through this final round. The damaged world champion, and now the hurt world title challenger digging deep into their souls and leaving everything in this Gold Coast ring with the world title on the line. Opatai struggling now to keep his mouth guard in with the issues around his jaw. And Bradis can see it oh. and the heads come together awkwardly. A minute left in the fight. 60 seconds from destiny for Opatia, who evades the uppercut. Another one comes, but he's away and chasing his Bradis and hanging on now is Jai Opatia. The corner of Bradis is cheering. Get up there, get up there. The uppercut got through from Bradis. Again. Opatia covers up. His mouth badly disfigured. He hangs on with 30 seconds left in this fight. Both fighters injured. Both boxers bloodied. Opatia digging deep, showing incredible toughness to stand up to some of these shots. And they trade with 10 seconds left. I'm sure the world title fight. Opatia taking big shots, staying on his feet and hanging on. What a fight we've seen. It's Bradis the Invincible, but has Opatia made history? Perhaps Australia has a new world champion. I think we have, Ben. I really think we have. <clears throat> An incredible battle. An absolute war between two true warriors here on the Gold Coast. The world champion, Myris Bradis. He was beaten up early, but he continued. He dug deep and he worked hard and he had his moments with Jaya Pattaya bruised and bloodied and perhaps broken in that 11th round. Somehow he climbed from his stool, he reached into himself and he's produced an effort for the ages. The badly disfigured Jaya Pattaya stays on his feet through 12 brutal rounds and maybe he's fulfilled his destiny here tonight. Well, Ben, I think he has. I know I, I tipped it earlier. I've, I've seen him when he was a young boy. When I first seen him spar, I thought this kid could be anything. And I think today he's, he's proved that he has. He's got it all. He can have no doubters in global boxing. Opatia, after what he's done, he has shown to be world class in terms of his boxing ability. And look at his face. He has shown himself to be otherworldly tough. Yeah, I've told you that. I, well, that granite jaw might be broken by the looks of it. But he still didn't go down. No, no. He stayed on his feet. Phenomenal stuff. Incredible toughness. But we must pay tribute as well to the champion. The chips were down. He was in so much trouble with a damaged nose, a cut over the eye, but somehow he continued and he nearly, in the final agonizing moments, Ooh. had this fight. Is the world title about to, to change, change hands. hands? Yes, it is, Ben Damon. Five years to the very day from when we saw that incredible victory from Jeff Horn against Manny Pacquiao in Brisbane. Perhaps Australia has another famous world title win on home soil. These are the highlights from the brutal final moments as Opatia sustained damage and pain, but somehow continued and stayed upright and may just have fulfilled his boxing destiny here on the Gold Coast this evening. Wow. Let's find out. Has history been made on the Gold Coast? This is Stephen Payos. Ladies and gentlemen, one more round of applause, please, as we get ready for our boxers to come centering for the decision.
Boxers, centering, please. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 Cruiserweight Championship rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for the decision. Judge John Basili scores the contest 116-112. Judge Katsuhiko Nakamura scores the contest 115, 113. Judge Steve Weisfeld scores the contest 116, 112. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous points decision victory. And. Yeah! Champion of the world, Jai Ope Taya. Now, I'm here with Jaya Pattaya, but I don't know if he's going to be able to talk with a what looks a badly broken jaw. Jai, I don't know, do you want to try and talk? Because this is an incredible moment. You've just fulfilled your destiny, if you can speak. Ah! That might be the best we get from him, but can you talk about the toughness of him getting back up off the stool to go out for that final round, Mark Wilson? He came back like, he broke it in the second round. He said the uppercut got him, but he didn't tell us to near the end there. But I think it was the 11th round where it really come to fore, where he really just opened up and I don't know how he went back out there. He knew he had one to go. And I just said, move, move, don't even get things. I thought we were winning comfortably. But uh, to Murray's credit, he came back in the last few rounds and Jai was getting tagged, but that's an incredible performance. How bad are you? We've got a new world champion in a fight like that, a performance like that. Uh, it's, it's something special, and he is a special kid. He's the first ever Australian to win an amateur world title and now a world professional title. So he, he'll go down in the history books. He's brilliant. He is brilliant. Congratulations to you, Mark Wilson. Congratulations to Jai Opatai, who is our new world champion. History is made on the Gold Coast. And what fashion it's been made in, with Jai Opatai suffering a broken jaw in the second round of the IBF Cruiserweight World Championship. And he banked a lot of points in the first half of the fight and just beyond because Breeders came home like the champion we know he is and certainly won three or four of the last four rounds themselves. Opatire, what he did early on with that broken jaw, has the belt around his waist. Incredible. What, incredible uh, to, to know now that he had his jaw busted in the second round and to box so superbly until those few, last few rounds when it really became obvious that it was broken and badly damaged. A, a, amazing victory for another Australian winning a world cruiserweight title. The first, the biggest, the highest weight division Australia has ever won in professional boxing. So Jai Opatia has made history in a big way. And fantastic, incredible I, stuff. I'm, I'm so excited for him, literally. I, feel like, I, I feel like I'm shaken. Yeah, like, he I, frees me back five years ago. Me, oh, winning, incredible, winning the yeah. title and 
I'm just so happy for him. Like, Me too. He, he was a teammate of mine in 2012, and he's he's such a skillful guy, and he showed that tonight. And he did absolutely awesome. I'm very proud of him, as I'm sure everyone else is as well. It's another amazing chapter in the annals of Australian boxing for five years to the day that Jeff Horn beat Manny Pacquiao in front of all those people at Suncorp Stadium. This man, Jai Ipatita, fulfills that destiny. He began at eight years of age. There's something about July too, isn't there? I'll tell you what, look, the fact he broke his jaw in the second round, he kept it to himself. And then come the 11th round, the jaw co came completely unstuck. And we could see there was something wrong with his mouth. The blood was starting to come out of it. And it, it, it began to lose its shape, which is clearly it suffered more damage and it's, it's began, it just couldn't hold it together. Uh, the bravery to come out in those circumstances, yeah, that, that puts Jai up to, it puts him in the Australian folklore. Like this will be something that in years to come will be remembered by people and will be recalled by people when they go to... I, I suppose showed the examples of, of, of straight, great Australian sporting moments. It was just to fight 10 rounds with a broken jaw, to win the world title against such a brave champion like Bradis, who was magnificent himself, who surrendered a couple of rounds early but came home like a champion does and was so brave in his own performance. I just thought it was just magnificent from both men tonight. And, and Joe Apatea, he's finally got there. Absolutely incredible. I mean, Bradis has got hammers in both hands. He's got so much power. You can see that every time he landed a good shot. And I mean, Jai Apatai has got, well, he, he's got a busted jaw now, but he's got an incredible ability to take a shot and come back. And to, to win the world title with a broken jaw in that condition is just, it's just phenomenal. We can see him there now. He's still unable to close his mouth properly, Warren. That's because of the jaw now. The, the, the gravity is just pulling the jaw down because the bone structure is not there to keep his mouth together. He, in, in the 11th and 12th rounds, the, the jaw hung down like that. He had trouble keeping his mouth guard in his, in his mouth because he was unable to clench his jaw to keep it there. It, it just, I, 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 it's beyond words what he's done oh, tonight. It was possibly broken on one side early and then the, finally it was broken on both sides because you can say, as you said, the, the mouth just dropping down so it's busted right across. And I'm definitely yeah. on both sides. Look, the, the, the tenacity and toughness that he went through to oh. somehow go through that fight. Mate, he, was, he was getting landed big shots big throughout bombs. that fight. He, I mean, he's a monster. Move. He's a monster oh. puncher. Look at this, you know, like brilliant stuff. He boxed brilliantly. And the, oh, the final that. punch, I think, for both fighters all night was the uppercut. They both short, sharp, damaging uppercuts. Yes. Damaged both. The Look at that one there. The upper tail, uppercut, broke the nose of Bradis. And then obviously we, did, we found this later, out later. I, I, I think somewhere around here, this is when we saw him get staggered early. Yes. Perhaps somewhere around here is when he did get the jaw broken. Possibly. Yeah. But certainly, come the 11th round, he wore four, five, six uppercuts, yeah. all flush on the jaw, which really just oh. dislodged the jaw where it was standing at the time. So. I tell you, you've got to also say, Marcus Brightus, you know, Myra 